Oh, for those who don't know, don't go anywhere. It's April Fool's Day. And it's also Easter. What do we do on April Fool's Day? We break out the characters. Buddy Puff was on only mere days ago. The correct views every April Fool's Day, every Friday the 13th, and on 420, sometimes on Halloween, the characters come out. Now keep in mind, none of the characters are real. They're fiction. But the stories that they tell are real. Last Easter, Arg Mortis. He's the friendly voice that answers the phone if you call the correct views. Arg Mortis said that if they used real nails during a crucifixion scene that happened during Easter, the man would not have fallen from the cross. This Easter we find out that real nails were used according to Yahoo News. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Arg Mortis. <laughs> it's it's not the first thing that I predicted either. <laughs> I predicted that they were going to try to ban pumpkins because they were going to say that pumpkins were leading to global warming and that we were wasting fruit and it's exactly what they did. I've had a couple of times that I predicted things that came true and now you got this idiot here. Cute to the Philippines. Uh, <laughs> a Philippine man who had been nailed to a cross. They used real nails. <laughs> it happens every Easter. I, I didn't know. If I'd have known, I'd have gone to the Philippines uh, for Easter. On Good Friday, the reenactment of Jesus Christ's crucifixion says he no longer feels any pain. They've driven the nails in so many times, he doesn't feel it anymore. Ruben Energy, 58-year-old man, again portrayed Jesus Christ last Friday in the traditional religious rite in Cuted Village, 47 miles from the capital of Manila. They broke out the nails and they put them into his skin. He said, in the past I went home injured and limping. That's what happens when you put nails in your feet. You tend to go home limping. But this year he said he felt great. I don't think that's a good sign. I don't think that's a good sign. Well, I'm not a medical expert. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't think it's a good sign. And the ritual was held in the sweltering sun. And he said his strong belief in the Catholic faith helped him to avoid the pain. I feel like it's God telling me go ahead and keep it up, he said, referring to God. Then again, if he's wrong, he's just going to go through life without being able to feel his hands and his feet anymore. About 80% of the 45, 105 million people in the Philippines, a former Spanish colony, are Catholic. But he's the only one that routinely nails himself to a cross. He sort of stands out a bit in the Catholic community, even in the Philippines. Then he said he felt strong enough to perform for two or three more crucifixions until he turned 60. That means I've got time to go down. They might even let me put the take the and Jay was among three devotees nailed to the wooden grass on a village on Friday, including a woman taking part for the seventh time. There's more than one person hanging around in the Philippines on Easter. Her actors wearing Roman and soldier costume. That's the job that I want. That's the <laughs> they attach the devotees to the crosses by hammering two inch nails soaked in alcohol through the wounds and the feet hoisted them up and filled packed with domestic and foreign turrets. I'm gonna be one of them. I'm gonna watch them take the hammers and take the and, and <laughs> the Catholic Church in the Philippines tolerates this. Virtual, but says it does not support the gory displays of devotion, describing them as a misrepresentation of faith. Many Catholics in the Philippines perform ritual acts of penance during the Holy Week of Easter is a form of worship and supplication. So is nailing things into people. Some believe penance cleanses, cures illnesses, and even leads to wishes coming true. If my wish comes true, I'll be planning a Roman guard next year. <laughs> That's my report. What did you think of it, Sam? Well, Arg, 
you are a little bit, you're doing good. I, I think I think you're doing very well. You seem stable and you seem very well spoken. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys, that's it. It's Sam IB. I got to get to your Easter message because your Easter message is actually a, a part of your April Fools, which is what this is all about. <coughs> Art Mortise is supposed to be a psychopath who answers the phone at the correct views, the studio. All right, guys, my actual Easter message, not as the psychopath. Um, you know what? This is the, the holidays have been tricky, at least for me. Um, my mom and dad are both gone. My mom died a few years ago. My dad died five years ago. Um, we've never had a very large and tight knit family. And uh, my grandparents are all dead. And my wife and I are currently separated. So, Easter this year, I'm probably going to get up in about 11 hours and go to church. I don't go to church a lot, not as much as I should, but I do always go on Easter. And I think it's important that we remember, <clears throat> regardless of our families or whatever, I think it's important that we remember what it's all about in terms of the holiday itself. Which says that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And do you know that can be proven? <clears throat> I guess that's my main part of this message. Do you know that that can be proven? Look up the case for faith, Look, faith by uh, Lee Strobel. Look up the case for Christ. They're free on YouTube. You, you can hear him. You can hear the, the evidence laid out. For instance... <clears throat> Did you know that 500 people were documented as being put to death for saying that they saw the risen Christ? Now, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people listening to this show are in bands, and they know people who are. It's hard enough to get 500 people to come to a show. How do you get 500 people to die for a known lie? Now, people will die for a, a lie that they believe to be the truth, but they won't die for a known lie. <clears throat> Do you know it's possible to prove that Jesus Christ rose from the dead without using the Bible to do it? Look up uh, Resurrection, the historicity for the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Sam DeGange. It's on um, Amazon. I'm not trying to sell my own crap. If you, you can't afford a copy, let me know, and I'll make sure you get one. I'll just give it to you. Happy Easter. Um, I wrote it for college, and I got, got it. I published it. It's, it's possible to prove. And once you've proved the divinity of Christ, then it's the God of the eternal second chance. And trust me, if you're a screw-up like I am, it's probably pretty helpful. Um, <clears throat> again, I, I preach to no one. If you think I've committed a certain sin, you're probably right. I'm guilty of most of them. But there are, there are reasons for cherishing what the actual holiday means what the bigger purpose of it all is. And with that in mind, I hope all of you have a wonderful Easter. And if you are with loved ones, eat merrily with them and hold them tightly. Because someday, they may not be there. The good thing is with Easter, you will always know that someone is there. And it's proof. Good night, friends. God bless.